They disappear this world but we don't want to get over Jesus and he's the one that's going to help us over and through all of the things that we are experiencing in this world in this world you will have tribulation and uh, we have with us this morning the very honorable uh, quite uh, uh, <clears throat> certified past 
Mr. C.W. Primus this morning, all the way from Ghouls, uh, one of the associate ministers at Mount Pleasant. And uh, we can see his office this morning and uh, pen, mm -hmm. but we're hopefully we'll see him in just a second. Uh, good morning, uh, Reverend Primus. How are you doing today? Good morning there, Bishop. How are you? Uh, I'm blessed and... Uh... I know I'm blessed. Yeah, we your 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 camera's facing a pen, but we can't see your beautiful face this morning. There you go. All righty. Okay, he is going to host us this morning and uh, introduce himself. And uh, Reverend, you can go ahead and take take the handle. Amen. Good morning, uh, people of God. Uh, I come to you this morning and I bring you greetings all the way from down in Southwest Bay, uh, Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church, where I am one of the associate ministers there. Uh, we're right, right now in transition uh, because of the uh, COVID-19 virus. Uh, the Bible declares that man ought to always be pray and thank not and so if you would let us pray this morning eternal god the creator of all things to the great i am we come humble before thy presence this morning uh, to say thank you we come thanking you for this is the day that the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad we come thanking you this morning for our risen Savior, Jesus, Yahshua, the Anointed One. We come thanking you because he told us he would not leave us comforted. So we invite the Comforter on into this ministry, into this internet, into each every each and every household. This we would ask that it touch hearts, break change, turn minds around. Give people the confidence that you still sit high, but that you look low. Oh, merciful Father, we would ask that you come on in and touch me, that I give your people what it is that you would have them to walk in in this season. Oh, Lord God, we ask that your will be done. It's in Jesus' matchless name we pray, and the people of God can go ahead and say amen. 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 People often ask me, what is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6? Because they hear me recite it often and without any thought. I, you, I, I, I would just recite it off the top of my head like a pledge of allegiance. But rarely considering uh, what, whether or not, I really elegant to that pledge. Listen, my brothers and sisters, at least I thought I did. Many times we take Bible verses just as words to be recited and not life and truth to be received. We sometimes use them when, we, when convenient and when they've been rehearsed completely missing the power behind those powerful words. Uh, I, I was guilty of this myself, and I can't even begin to count how many times I've recited my life verse without even contemplating the profoundly solid and practical truth in such a verse. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. If you would this morning for a brief moment, and I won't keep you long, let's contemplate the words trust in the Lord. You see, when we trust in something, we are placing our security in that entity. For example, when my father was alive, I absolutely trusted him. 
which meant I had total and complete confidence in its integrity, ability, and good character because I knew him and had a relationship with him. Listen, I trusted him because I knew he would do what was best for me and the family. However, the more I thought about it, and I begin to seek understanding. You see, the Bible, the Word of God, uh, does say, with all you're getting, get understanding. And, but that's another Bible study for another time. I sought counsel with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. And as it began to guide me, my footsteps, you see, I began to question, search my own heart, if you will. And he brought me to this thought. Is that the same level of trust I am placing in my heavenly Father? Can I be so transparent with you this morning? Uh, it is much harder, much harder to trust God, which we have never seen, than man. Even though man will always let us down, only God is perfectly trustworthy in faith. But listen to this, if I don't take the time to get to know him, I will never come to trust him. Are you there? Are you there this morning? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. I needed to understand. This is what he gave me, so I'm going to give it to you this morning. Trusting in the Lord with all your heart means placing our hearts at the Lord's feet. Listen, this type of surrender leaves no room for our own anxieties and worries. But completely entrusting our being to God's sovereignty. As crazy as that may sound, or even as scary as it may be, the next part of this verse is so necessary for the trusting to lead to God's hope. And let me say that one more time. Trusting that leads to God's hope. You see, to lean not on your own understanding is to lean completely into the strong arms of God's hold. It means to be not rely on ourselves, essentially letting go and letting God take the helm of what he perfectly already knows. Watch this. <laughs> God does not have to guess about anything. Uh, the scripture goes on to say, in all your ways acknowledge him, not some ways or some days, but always and with all our ways. This means, my friends, to admit the existence, reality, and trustworthiness of God. It means to truly understand that God can do everything but faith. To acknowledge him as Lord over all and to give him full access to sit on the throne of our heart. There, my friends, and only there can he begin to govern our walk. And he will begin to establish our steps and lead us, lead us where he needs us. In the midst of global chaos, God sits high and looks low. He is in total control. Let me assure you, he will never put more on us than we can bear. You listen, the word of God this morning, my brothers and sisters, this is appropriate. It, it, it's, it, it's designed for a time like this where we have global chaos and, 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 and racial injustice and we have a disease, a, a micro antibody that's out there, a microorganism that's out there that's taking people out of this world. Uh, it, it's spread all over the country and and, and, and it's not something we can see. Uh, so uh, I, I would suggest to you this morning to put your hands in God's hands, to put your thoughts and your, your whole being into God's word, because guess what? God has a plan and a perfect purpose. In the midst of Corona-19, in the midst of unsure government, in the midst of uh, loss, in the midst of a storm, the, the, the winds may blow, the, the lightning will strike, 
water's going to beat into the boat. You remember the story. If you got Jesus in the boat, listen to me and listen to me well. If you got Jesus in the boat, he has the power to say, peace, be still. He has the power to change the directions of the wind. He has the power to turn the storm completely into just a light rain. My brothers and sisters, in a time such as now, we need something to hold on to. We need a sure thing to hold on to. You see, uh, from time to time, your money's going to fail you. From time to time, your 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 schooling and your 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 strong thoughts are going to fail you. From time to time, your your body is going to fail you. But the word of God, my brothers and sisters will always be. Heaven and hell, the Bible says, will pass away, but the word of God will last for eternity. So now, uh, essentially, let God take the helm of your, your life and take control of your mind. Take control of your worries and your, 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 uh, how can I put it? Sometimes we become a little petty in our thoughts. But if we allow, let go, and let God, we'll be all right. Everything will be all right. Trusting him and him alone. If I, if I might put a period right there, Bishop, I'm going to turn it back over to you this morning. All right. Um, we are so blessed with those words of wisdom. And as a matter of fact, um, <clears throat> Reverend Primus, that's my favorite Bible verse as well that I recite and live by. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding, but on all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he will. He will. Of course, as a black preacher, you love to get to that part, but you say he will. <laughs> he will. Yeah, he hey. will direct your path because we know he will. We know yeah. we know without a shadow of a doubt that he will. He will uh, bring us through. He will yes. uh, put food on our table. He will yes. keep waking us up every morning because we trust in him. Thank you. We look at his sunrise in the east and head cascade toward the west. Yeah. And we can say he will. He the, will. This world may let us down, um, but he will never leave us nor will he ever forsake us. So thank you for that beautiful lesson this morning. And we appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to be with right, us. Yes. And uh we will upload this to uh, YouTube and uh, send out the link uh, so you all can share it with everyone that may have missed it this morning because people need to hear this message Amen. that God will uh, do just what he said he would do. Today Amen. is our day of prayer, concentrated day of prayer, and we're asking um, those of you to continue in a state of mind of prayer today. We're interceding for each other. So um, if you all have, we know everyone on the line. We have uh, 10 of you on the line this morning and we are live streaming to Facebook. And so we're asking those of you who are on the line and those of you listening on Facebook, if you would post um, either on this comment list uh, under this message or uh, we have a uh, post this week says uh, pray for each other and just put your name on it or put pray for me uh, or if you want to put the reason why you want us to pray so we can pray specifically and call your name want to call your name today in prayer some of you are suffering from uh, high blood pressure, some of you are suffering from diabetes, some of you are suffering from mental afflictions, uh, physical afflictions, emotional afflictions. Uh, so we're we are saying that we're going to intercede and touch and agree. 
And so, uh, <clears throat> so I just, well, I've never done this before, Reverend Primus, but, um, mm -hmm. but I, I want you to just say a short closing prayer, uh, yes. to pray for the healing of our people throughout this world. If you would do that, and then we can close out. Amen. Amen. Uh, we're living in a world that we've never seen before, uh, things are happening that has never happened to us before. I used to hear my grandparents say uh, those were the good old days, but I can remember Bishop and you uh, also as well uh, when we didn't have to wear a mask, when it was all right for public gatherings, when, when uh, things seemed to be uh, all right. It's not so now. So we we need to grasp on to God's unchanging hand because this is the only thing that we'll be sure of. Uh, if you would, uh, the Bible says where two or three touch and agree would be right there in the midst. If you would pray with me uh, this morning, eternal God, the creator yes, of all Jesus. things, we thank yes, you. Lord. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, for another yes, day. Jesus. In the midst thank of you, coronavirus, you, you saw Jesus fit to take healing. us through yesterday. You, you, you allowed Jesus us to healing. lay down last thank night, you, and you woke us healing. up this morning with a thank portion you, of Jesus Bible. for healing, God. People are facing all types of problems yes, in Jesus. this world today, Lord God. Yes, but we know Jesus. that you are the answer to you everything. Are the answer this morning. You are the antidote to the COVID-19. Oh, Mr. Father. You're the contact yes, for unemployment. Jesus. Yes. Father, you are the one that can change the yes, course Jesus. with yes, just the word. Yes. So we seek you, uh, your face today, yes, Lord God. We morning. ask if you would allow us to be in your company uh, this morning, Lord God. Those who may have um, uh, 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 health problems going on today, Lord God, we Jesus. would ask in the mighty name of Jesus, bind it and we rebuke it. In, the in name Jesus, of name. Jesus. In we the plead name the blood of now over every household, every in the every name of house Jesus. that's represented. We we plead the blood from the door post, yes, the front door Jesus. post to the back door. Post. Yes, Lord Jesus. God, we ask that you come on in like come a mighty rushing wind and, come on in, and give direction and, and Move, break Lord. some chains Move, of Move, this Lord, morning. for healing. We need you now Move, more Lord, than we've ever healing. needed you before. Yes, God. Jesus. So we call on you. You said all we had to do was call on the yes, name of Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on in to those houses right yes, now, Lord God, that Jesus. might be facing problems of, 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 of uh, their houses being repossessed. Yes, we, we, we ask that you come on in this come morning in, to those Jesus. that children might be going astray. Yes, we ask Jesus. that you come on in Hallelujah. this morning and regulate Hallelujah, some hard Break no chains Hallelujah. of bondage, Lord. Glory. You see, we Glory understand that you can and you've done Glory. it before and you, you'll do it again, Lord God. But Hallelujah, guess what, Father? Jesus. If you don't Hallelujah. do it, like those Hebrew Thank boys you, who, who stepped in the fire, you Thank don't you, remove. It's Thank not because God. you can. Give us the strength, Thank Lord you, God, Jesus. to claim those mountains. Oh, merciful Father, we put total trust in you this morning. We're going to trust in you and lean not to our own understanding. The Bible says if we uh, 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 if we allow you that you would direct our paths. I thank you right now, oh merciful Father. I ask but one other thing before I close this prayer. We we pray blessings on this ministry, on this great Jesus man of God. Name. Jesus name. Oh, oh merciful Father, let him continue to reach out to the multitudes and give them hope, peace, and understanding. Oh Lord God, we ask that your will be done. It's in Jesus' matchless name I pray and the people of God to say amen. God bless you. You all have a wonderful